What's going on guys? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So I got a good one for you today. We are actually building on what we left off on the previous episode, which was our Hubitat smart home device. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to show you how easy it is to add new smart home devices to your hub to get things cracking and things smarter in your home. So if you want to do more about it, let's do it. Come along. All right, guys, you've seen the thumbnail. You've seen what's going on. We are talking about the smart hub, and we're going to be adding more devices. So we're going to jump right back to that previous example of the Cree bulb. So uh, let's go ahead and kick this thing on. And as you can see, she ain't working. What's up with that? Oh, and it only works if you plug it up. <laughs> All right, so let's get our handy dandy app going. And basically all it is to it is you turn the thing on, let me show you how easy it is. You turn this thing on, you grab your phone. You grab your phone here. You unlock it. No, I'm playing. You grab your phone and the first thing you want to do is let's get that light out of our face because it is blowing us all the way out in camera. Um, wow. Let's actually do this. Let's put it on the floor. How about that? All right, yeah, we see the light. It's right here. It's on the floor. Uh, it's too bright in my face, and I want to look good for you guys on camera. Not for you guys, but for the ladies or whatever. I just want to look good on camera. But uh, <laughs> back to what we were talking about. You want to add, um, you basically, you want to just discover devices. And it's, you find out, okay, they have different types of Zigbee. This is, you can try the Zig, I always go Zigbee basic first. You can try going, um, iris v1 but that's that's more for motion sensor stuff and we're talking about motion sensors coming up so you definitely want to stick around if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys i'm gonna show you how to really do some cool things with some motion sensors around your house make some things flash and pop and on and all that other good stuff just just hit that subscribe button and come along because you don't want to miss out on that and it's really that easy you hit zigbee you hit start pairing and see what it finds and the first thing it should find is a new device. Um, actually, you know what? I turned that light on too soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna un unplug it. Now we're gonna turn it on. And boom, look how fast that was. You are seeing it in real time. It's 10 o'clock at night, almost 11 o'clock at night. And it came up that fast. So um, it really found the bulb that fast. That's kind of cool. And this is my first time doing it. So uh, you wait for it to initialize. It goes through its it goes through its process. It goes through its steps, and you just wait for it. Uh, it'll go through the steps or whatever, and uh, it'll start pairing it to the system. And once you get there, it allow you to <clears throat> basically give it its uh, description. So a lot of times, what I like to do is whatever dashboard I'm going to put it to is the name I give it. So for instance. Uh, I'll say like living room left lamp. So if I'm looking at the lamp, oh, and then you see it change. So it's it's working its way through the system and figuring out what kind of Zigbee device it is. But back to what I was saying, whatever dashboard you're gonna go to is the name I would actually give it. So for instance, I would do living room left lamp. And that's if I walk into the living room and I'm looking at the left lamp and I'm gonna name it left lamp. So in this case, I'll probably name it test lamp. and from there, I can add it. Once it's in Hubitat, I can say, I want to control it with Alexa. Or um, right now, I got to check the updates. I know I just updated my Hubitat hub today. So I need to go through and see what kind of features it's, it's, uh, it's working with. Maybe they have some more uh, collaboration with HomeKit. I know that nope. we're working on it, but I know for now, I just been controlling things with uh, Alexa. So, um, I have certain devices that I have just controlled with Alexa and then mainly all my Zigbee devices and Z-Wave devices, they are all controlled through Hubitat and I just have commands and routines going through Alexa with Hubitat controlling them. And it's it's pretty splitting fast. It's, it's, it's kind of good, it's pretty dope. Um, but, so what I would do is once it's paired in Hubitat, what we'll do is I'll show you guys how to add it to Alexa and you can get it popping and 
do your commands or whatever through Alexa and make it happen. So let's fast forward and see how long this thing takes to basically pair and get set up in Hub Attack. Moments later. All right, so I'm bugging. I did, I thought I didn't have the, uh, let's move that back there. I thought I didn't have the device factory reset. So um, it looked like it was hanging up and then I went to my device list and it's actually sitting right there in the devices. So if you look here, right here on the screen, um, it came up as an advanced Zigbee bulb and it gives you the device ID, which is really the MAC address of the ID, um, of the device, I'm sorry, the MAC address of the device. So we're gonna call this is test bulb. And device name is tester. Cause there's nothing like that on my <laughs> network. Advanced Zigbee bulb. And then you wanna hit save device, right? Save device. So I hit the flash button and what you see now is you see the actual device flashing. So that's a fast way of saying, does it work or what's it doing? Or I can go ahead and just turn it off real quick. Turn it off, turn it on. Cool, right? So um, from there, what you wanna do is, you already wanna have this thing hooked up. So in that same hub UI, you go to the apps and what you do is you share, you share that, you share the device with your Amazon skill. So I have Echo device, um, there we go. You go to the app. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm doing it as I'm learning it, you know what I'm saying? So you actually basically just toggle it on. Bam, it's toggled on and then hit update. Now, once you go to Alexa and you say, hey Alexa, what did you find? Oh shoot, not yet. Sorry, I'm having trouble. Please try in a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Alexa, of course, puts everything in. Gotta quit saying her name. So it puts things in. Um... New device, new device, new device, new device. Want to add advice? Let's just run a search real quick. Get other discover devices. If you wait a second, run this discover devices. Da, 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 da. It takes up to 45 seconds, and you should see your new bulb. That's oh, you know what? I don't think I hit update when I left the web UI. Come on. Yep. Look at that. Tester. Update. Now testers in the devices. And you hit done. And that saves it. Oh, look at that. Before I could even get back to the Alexa app, your tester is connected to Alexa with the hub. So now I can say, I can raise the brightness, or I can say, Alexa, turn off tester. Okay. That fast. Try to get smart things to work that fast for you. That's all. That's that's my only challenge to you. Try to get stuff to work that fast. And mind you, I'm on the first floor of my home. My hub's on the second floor of my home. And this thing is not even attached to anything but a plug. Smart, smart devices are dope. Get in the smart game, guys. I love this stuff, man. So um, that's a quick and easy good one for you. And uh, I know it's kind of choppy. It was kind of messed up. But that was my first time adding that bulb to this device. So uh, a lot of stuff I had already done before. And I did it in groups. So uh, needless to say, it's very simple to do. Very easy to do. Here's your step-by-step -step guide on how to get it done. So if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. And if you want to, share this video. Otherwise, have a great day because we're about that remote life. We're taking control of our lives by doing the things we love and loving the things we do. So until next time, we're out of here. Peace.